I had like I played off stream on was it Sunday? Saturday. I think it was Sunday. I was playing off stream on Sunday and I ran into a Royals player. I took 15 damage. I was at 30. I took 15 damage. I fought somebody and I um Oh, let me do this play. What's the best play here? Buy this and just go. I don't like either of these plays. Oh, uh, anyway, what was I saying? Um, I took 15. I played one other player. I fought that other player and I killed him. And then I immediately played against that same Royals player again. And then I and then I, they 15 me again and I just got destroyed. So it, it ended up just like completely fucking me. Buy Cinderella lock. It's a little too slow. Why is Mordred locked? Because I never want to play that hero. <laughs> it's just such a shit hero. I wish Mordred was was actually playable. Mordred's only playable if you swap into it. Interesting shot. Pretty bad, all things considered. It's a 50 50 to get reasonable things here. Okay. That's uh that's what we wanted. Was one of these two to get the buff. We want to be we want to be putting ourselves in a position to move towards like getting the hero power online. So buying neutral units is typically just a bad idea. Like this is in this unit is inevitable. And so like it doesn't really matter how fast I get the the hero power online. I need to attack here. Damn. Okay, that worked out. Kill this. Okay, we're still fine. Nice. Okay, there's my evil unit. The other option is I can nuke this Humpty Dumpty. I think I do this anyway. It's a big goat, sure. I think we just get as strong as possible in this spot. Did you watch the Green Knight movie? Uh, I don't know what Green Knight movie you're talking about. But no, I have not seen a Green Knight movie. We should win this fight fairly easily. Oh, we're at 692 YouTube subscribers. We're getting there. My god, we murdered that grandma. There's the evil queen. Free spell as well. Ooh. Ooh, that's tempting. Sleeping princess. Princess Peep is also a very good unit. For this hero. Maybe it's just this. I don't want to get totally baited. This is a six four though. It's pretty strong. I wonder if that ends up being better than this. Five four over a seven one. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Next turn we'll pick up uh, a treasure and we'll also hopefully pick up a good uh, another good unit. But this is a this this prince 
Excuse me, this Princess Peep is really, really good on this hero. Spawning three threes every turn is strong. Especially early on. It's a good hit. Mm, it's not a great hit. Good. Bad. Nice. Still one. Oh man, I have to admit, this hero is actually really good. This is great. Playing a dead player too. Alright, let's go ahead and buff this. I guess we take Econ. I'm in a I'm in a spot where Econ is pretty good. Take out the goat for another princess. I don't have room for this unit. Let me just roll. What are the chances that this Mrs. Claus actually has a unit that we want for kidnap? Seems kind of unlikely. I think I just roll. Mm. This could technically roll XP, I think. I don't really want either of these. I think I'm just going to take this and hope that we roll like XP or some sort of offensive spell. Nice, that's really clutch. It's actually insane. One mana XP. How's the meta after the changes? Oh my god, it's night and day. The meta is so much better. So much better. It's like the game has like a new lease on life, it feels like. <laughs> yeah, he didn't. I'm glad I didn't buy it. He had no units at all. What did they change? They moved Arthur back to four. They made the Heartwood Elder have more health and they made it a uh, good faction. And they moved uh, they moved Round Table to level seven treasure. All right, nothing here. Uh, I can get two level fives off of this. It's worth it. Two trees. Is that worth swapping for? I could also pick up this baby bear. Baby bear is better than the frog. Oh. I have the econ to go for a soul tack plus heartwood here. The problem is, is that I'm trying to evaluate if it's actually better than than playing like some of this other stuff. I guess it works out okay. I can like sell this, sell this, buy this, take this out. Actually, I can play it like this. Yeah, this is totally fine. We still get to keep our bonuses and we get scaling. Yeah, this is totally fine. We should just slide this over one slot though. Yeah, this is fine. Yeah, I think this unit's really, really good now. I mean, it, it literally is good now. It also makes sense that it's uh, a good tree now instead of a neutral. It just, look at him, look at him, he's so happy. He looks like he'd be a good unit. Hmm, I should be, I should be fine here. As long as I don't just run straight into all of these dwarves. Damn it. I need this to not be... God, this thing got full buffs. That sucks. It's going to scale now. I need this thing to not scale. It's scaling. We're fine. But Soltak is bad. Soltak's not really all that bad when you can give it plus two, plus two every turn. I'm gonna True Love's Kiss it though. Level six this early is amazing. It's worth it. Okay. That's like really, really early pumpkin. I'm trying to gauge what's better. These are both good for now. 
I guess I take this out. This is a level 5 evil unit, level 3, and level 2. Unfortunately, I, I don't have enough to sell for the Sporko. But getting a, a pumpkin this early is kind of nutty. We're in a really good spot. <laughs> yeah, back to pumpkin build. Back to pumpkin build we go. Pumpkin's actually really, really good on this hero because think about it, all the stuff that spawns is going to get plus three, plus three from my from my hero power. So it's actually a nice synergy. Cool. I'm going to get a treasure pretty soon, too. Oh my god, I'm going to murder this guy. Oh, and he gives me some extra money, too. What a pow. What a pal, what a pal. It's a fine triple. Treasure map, go for a level 7 treasure. I'm down. Uh, we want to take monster book. I don't think we want this. We can just roll. Another monster book is pretty sick. Time to take the Mad Mim out, I think. I do love the pumpkin. I love me some pumpkin, that's for sure. Uh, this will give me a level six treasure. If I find this, it'll this it'll give me a. Uh... Ooh, that's actually an interesting consideration. So I want to take this unit out and try to go for a level, try to go for a level seven, because like I do have this. There's a chance that we can get it. Hmm. Eh. No, I think it's it, it's a little greedy to go for a seven. If we get it, we if we end up getting it, we get it. But like, I get weaker if I go for it, if I take it out. It's just not really worth it. Okay, it didn't go off, so we have another turn to make it work. I'm cool with that. Pretty sure I killed this player here. Pretty sure, at least. If the pumpkin goes off, we're definitely killing him. Yeah, we're definitely killing him. Uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, exact lethal. Got an apple tree, that's pretty sick. Do we want to wish upon a star? Already one player at level six. It's worth it. The longer you leave somebody alive on level six, it's just gets more and more dangerous. Like, this guy being on six for longer than like three turns for me is really scary. Okay, level seven treasure next turn. I'm down. Hey, boo boo. Hey. Come here. It's kitty time. It's kitty time. Hmm, this guy's probably gonna be probably gonna beat me pretty bad. That was a good hit though. Go left. Damn. Oh my god, stop earthquaking! Fuck. I'm gonna lose this fight now. 
so oh my god this this stupid angry is just farming me yeah I'm gonna take it here five eight eleven rough oh boy I mean if we, maybe if we got some better spell RNG there and didn't cast like three earthquakes we would have been okay playing the strongest player now it's a little scary so I have the perfect stuff for the scam comp. I think I just go mirror mirror here. We already have a monster book. We already have a rotten apple tree. We have Medusa. I think it's just worth it. Excalibur is the runner up in this comp, but mirror mirror is just really good when you're already going for pumpkin. And especially now that I'm on level six, I can start looking for better, better stuff. Nothing here really. There's a pigs, that's good. So let's see, I need to... Yeah, I mean, this is fine. Would you take a Cupid? Uh, I'd probably consider picking up a Cupid if I... Oh, that's a good hit for me. Nice. That's actually huge. Uh, I pick up a Cupid if I fought if I fought somebody that made me think I need a Cupid. Nice. Should be a pretty easy easy win here. Hi, boo boo. Hi. 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 What's up, Slim? How's it going? How are the games going? The games are really, really good today. Uh, I think we got first, first, second, second so far. This guy is level five still. Mm, I could pick up a mummy. It's pretty good on this hero or on this, this setup, but let's go ahead and roll. Oni King is way better. All right, I'm happy with that. Uh, I don't need a level four treasure anymore. I'm going to sell and flip these two units. Okay, we didn't hit, but that's fine. I'm still pretty strong. God, the game just feels so much better when you're not like constantly taking like a billion damage from Royals players. Like the end game is the most like the mid game leading into the end game is the most fun part of this game. But like it just it just feels so bad when you take like 15 damage, you know. It's just rough. Nice, that was huge. No way anyone beats your comp. It's doable, but it, like we could definitely lose, but we're really, really strong for sure. I mean, your game. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, you're the you're the pup. Yeah, yeah, we got strong for sure. Everyone's like, oh, fuck. <laughs> Everyone's like, oh, no, the scam comp. <laughs> it's a pretty big Storm King. Wait, when did we cast so many spells? Oh, monster book. Right. Right. Right, right, right. Is this worth it? Is it better than this? It might be better because this actually respawns as a 50. I think this is worth it, honestly. Like, this is effectively like a hundred worth of stats. The only thing that's a little shitty is that it, uh... 
is that it takes away from like my spell or my my evil counter by taking out the pigs. But I, I don't really think that's a huge deal. Could consider locking for knighthood here. Yeah, I think I'm gonna lock for knighthood. It's no guarantee that we actually get the other units that we're looking for. Aren't the mirror copies the same level? I think so. I'm not actually sure. This is that dwarf player that dunked on me before. Yeah, they're the same level, so we're actually fine. We don't uh, we don't have to worry about it really. This didn't uh, this didn't proc twice though. <laughs> Double pumpkin. Uh, I, I think we're fine. Yeah, I mean, this looks this looks good. Having the upgraded units get spawned at the end is like this. This is basically my front line and this is my insurance policy, basically. I could honestly consider swapping these positions and keeping the Oni King in the back so that when this procs, there's a chance that the stuff that spawns attacks and he buffs them. But sometimes the attack order gets kind of weird and it doesn't reset, so it's not guaranteed. But who knows? Block tonight the Oni King? Uh, I don't think I need to. Wanted to get your opinions on the round table being level seven now. It doesn't mean you only really go trees if you hit it on the way to six. Uh, I think I'm fine with I'm fine with it getting moved. It makes it weaker for sure. But um, I think it's like my issue is that they didn't put anything in place. Um, like they, they didn't put anything to replace it. So the pool of level six treasures ends up getting like shallower and makes it easier for people to go good boy sword. So the reason that I bought the tiger in this in this spot is because there's two treasures that are really good right now. We can either find mimic or we can find um, or we can find uh, harvest moon and go for the Medusa slay scam. Either one of those are actually really really good. Yeah, this patch is so much more fun. I'm having a blast. The game just feels so much like fresher and like new.
Yeah, it's really, really good. Could have kissed the upgraded Nyan. Yeah, I, I could have, but I kind of want my next turn to not be locked in terms of what spell I decide to cast. Portal pretty good too. Portal's less good because it, I can get scammed. Okay, see, this is what I wanted because now I can hit the pig. All right, show me something good. Uh... Try again. Yeah, Saber is actually pretty good. It's a it's a rel relatively okay consolation prize. I'm a little scared of the of the cupids and shit. If my if this ends up getting sniped by Cupid, it's kind of rough for me, but we'll see. My stuff ends up scaling pretty nicely with the Storm King and the book and shit. Yeah, the new saber is really good. I, I've every time I've taken it, I've been uh, I've been happy with the results. It's definitely strong in the mid game for sure. That's a really good hit for me. That's really good for me too. Go far right, beautiful. Really good hit so far. Really good. Those were like. Absolutely insane rolls. That was like the best RNG I could ask for in that spot. That was like Omega high roll RNG. Another apple tree. I could consider gigantifying this pumpkin king. If I gigantify the Pumpkin King, it survives. Uh, it survives getting double lightning bolted. It doesn't survive getting hit by the hammer, though. So I don't think it's worth playing around it. It's too expensive to play around that. Now my own lightning bolt could be okay. I think we just want another Medusa, actually. Poison Apple, not really. Yeah, another Medusa is good. It's a good snipe. Mm, that's bad. Hopefully the Medusa will be enough here. That's a bad hit. I think I have... I think I'm just too strong. Like, those bears are big, or the boars are big, but... Like, I think with, like, Oni King and shit, I should be... This should be stronger. I think we're fine. Yeah, we're fine. Didn't kill him though, which is a little scary. <clears throat> He's continuing to get a little bit stronger each fight. I could consider selling here. I'd have to sell this.
pretty good. Uh, yeah, I mean, we, we win for sure. Since this survived, it, I should be totally fine. It's a full board worth of stuff, right? Uh... These spawns are not... These are not the hits. I think I might lose this fight, actually. Yeah, I think I lose. <clears throat> I'm not dead, but... Those are definitely not the spawns. Hmm. I'm wondering if swapping this out was actually the reason that I didn't win that fight. I mean, the reason I didn't win the fight was because the pumpkin spawns were abysmal, but... I can't play this. If I play this, it ends up... Well, he doesn't have... Maybe I can play that. Yeah, we weren't killing the statues, exactly. We could take the pig. Only, it's only game. Why you have to be mad? Why you have to be mad? Does he have boots? Oh my god, it's the same shit again. He doesn't have boots and I still got my the same stuff you sniped. Have the right to remain sex. Oh wow, really bad hits. Okay. You got pretty griefed by the spawns there. I think we're fine. That's a bad hit. That's a bad hit. That's a good hit. That's fine. That's good. All right, we win the fight. GG's. Wait, it's a tie. Are you kidding me? Jesus. This is the longest final round ever. Okay, that should be enough to win the win the game now. <clears throat> we just kept getting fucked by that Cupid, so I think we're fine now. You got an Echo Wood though. Does that Echo Wood fuck me? That Echo Wood kind of fucks me. Yeah, those are not the spawns. I'm gonna lose to that Echo Wood. Yeah, I lost to the Echo Wood.
How is he hitting so many upgraded units? Like, it doesn't have Excalibur, but it feels like I haven't seen any, like... I feel like he's finding, like, every upgraded unit, and I'm just, like, not finding anything. Lock in case I tie here. Let's see how this goes. That should be enough to win. I know I said that last time, but that should be enough. I'd be surprised if that's not enough. This shouldn't get much more than like a hundred. Yeah, we're fine. GG's. That was an insane game. Holy fuck. That was crazy. You're crazy. You're crazy, Bean. You're crazy. <laughs> Templar, I think you were the follow. Yeah, that was a crazy game. My opponent played very well. We kind of went back and forth with just a bunch of shenanigans. That was fun, though. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to see more. I put out a new video and live stream on Twitch every single weekday. You can also follow me on Twitter, at JohnTheWordsGuy. See you later.